Well, I started off trap shooting competitively back when I was in my 20s, I would say. My husband then was a trap shooter and a hunter, and he introduced me into the sport. We'll go to Argentina and shoot doves, stag. It's the outdoors. It's connecting with being outside. And I think it's nice. It's family-oriented type sport. And we started a magazine called the American Shotgunner Magazine. This was the first magazine that uh, actually did instructional type articles on shotgun shooting. Now I have a business called Bernard and Associates, my son and myself. It's awful nice to have my son working with me. And uh, it's a magazine and media television representation business. Of course, the NRA has always been very close to my heart. I always believed in everything they were trying to accomplish. And, all the different areas with the youth, besides the women. Definitely more women have become involved in the shooting sports. When I first started, you know, it was far and few between, especially even the competition shooting, you know, you wouldn't see that many women out there shooting. And now you just see more and more of it, and more and more youngsters, and I think it's just great. And I, and I think the NRA has helped expand the horizons for women by starting all these different programs. You know, New York releases more criminals. More and more school. with the fight for our Second Amendment rights, the women really are needing to step up to the plate, voice their opinions for all the other women and even men who maybe have misconceptions of what hunting and shooting is all about. If women all of a sudden get active and make their voice heard, well, perhaps the opposition will take notice and say, wow, here's these women. They really like to hunt and shoot and compete and you know hold guns and they go, it's a family thing. Maybe it's not so bad after all. We just have gone you know, from a little organization, a few group of women to you know, here we were. I mean, last year we increased the attendance at the luncheon. I think we had 350 last year. So now here we are, 550. That group of women now realize how important their part is. Hopefully we'll keep growing and growing and growing as we have been. I mean, you can just feel the energy. Look at the support we have. This is what it's all about. You know, we do believe in the Second Amendment. Sometimes, especially this past year, all the obstacles we've had to overcome, and sometimes we feel beat down. Well, you come here and then you get rejuvenated again. You get that energy back. You keep moving forward. We can do this.